Hi, World Tempest family. Thank you for joining us today for yet another little presentation video with the showcase. And uh, without any further ado, I'm just going to skip right to the close-up view of the watch. What we have here is the Eterna Heritage 1940 chronograph telemeter. And, uh, you know, it may look like yet another neo-vintage reissue that we've seen so many of in recent years. But this time, the watch actually does come from a brand that has uh, incredible legitimacy in this area. The design of the watch itself will be familiar to anyone who knows and loves Eterna's historical timepieces. You can see at a glance that the aesthetic features of the Heritage 1940 chronograph telemeter belongs to uh, the first part of the 20th century. I want to point out uh, a few things like the large pushers right here and the white crown that makes this chronograph such a pleasure to operate. Not only are they appropriate to the era, to the era that they're referencing, but they generally do feel really nice. There's nothing worse than small pushes and crowns that hurts your fingers when you try and push them. I'm not going to name any names, but overall the smooth curves of this case make it very extremely comfortable on the wrist. Now, in terms of readability, some may prefer the contrast of um, the white on black dial, which is this model that we have here. Just give the camera a moment to focus, which is very beautiful and very stunning in and of itself. But me, I personally really dig the aged look of these bronze markers. And after all, it is in line with this vintage look that we're going for. Now, let's move on to the actual function of this watch. It is a flyback chronograph. Uh, what does that mean? Normally, with a chronograph, you would do this. You would start, stop again, and then reset back to zero. With this one, the chronograph can still be running and yet you can hit reset without having to stop it first, which is uh, pretty convenient if you're timing something continuously. Just one more time, just to show you exactly what it means by flyback and there you go. Immediate reset to zero. Now, the different scales that you can see on the dial allow you to add a further two applications to your chronograph reading. There is a telemeter scale on the external part of the dial, which allows you to calculate distance based on when you see an event and when you hear it. So like, i um, just going to stop and reset the watch so that it's back at zero. So like, for example, a lightning strike or fireworks, you would start the chronograph when you see the flash of light, right? And then you stop it when you hear the sound. And then the reading of the hand on the, on the telemeter scale will tell you how far away it is. It's based on the speed of sound, which is a pretty constant calculation. So in this case, I've stopped it after um, I've stopped it after like a two and a two and a half seconds. <laughs> yeah, I've stopped it after two and a half seconds, which means uh, the thing that I'm trying to time, whether it's a flash of light or a lightning strike or fireworks or whatever, is about. Uh, let's look at it again. It's about one kilometer distant. Let's reset that. There you go. It just tells you how far you are from a thing that makes nights, like uh, as uh, like the examples that I just described just now, a uh, flash of light or anything with uh, like a lightning strike or fireworks that, you know, makes a light that can be observed and makes a sound that can be heard. Uh, now, towards the center of the dial, there's a tachymeter scale. You can see that here. That's the tachymeter scale towards the center. And how this works is uh, it allows you to calculate the average speed of an object based on a set distance, like uh, one kilometer or something. So you 
start the chronograph when uh, the object starts moving. And then you stop the chronograph when it reaches one kilometer and the reading will tell you how fast the object is going. So let's say I stop the chronograph now because the object has taken um, 20 seconds to travel one kilometer. Yeah, and then we'll just give the camera a second to focus. And then based on the scale that we have, reading off that, the tachymeter, Focus, focus, focus. You can see that it's traveling at about... a hundred and... seventy... I would say estimate about 178 kilometers per hour. So I like that. I think it's a cool little feature that you can kind of play around with if you do happen to have a tachymeter scale on your chronograph. The great thing about this movement, so I'm going to flip it around now so we can all have a look, closer look. Is that this is the Caliber Maison Eterna uh, 3916A. So it's from the Caliber 39 movement family, right? That's uh, Eterna's in-house developed movement solution. I'm just going to go switch to a more close-up view so we can get a little closer into that. So like the ETA movements, the Eterna Caliber 39 is meant to form the basis for a wide range of modular functions and the chronograph uh, clearly being one of them. That means a number of things, but what we're primarily concerned with is that this is a movement whose construction is designed around reliability and ease of service. Uh, you might even recognize that the regulator, and I'm gonna go really, really close here because you need quite a lot of detail on this. You might even notice that the regulator uses an Itacron system. Let's see if I can get close enough for us to really see that. There you go. If you can. See that whole bit there? That is the Etachrome regulating system. Just give it a second to focus, and yeah, there you go. So I appreciate that on two levels. Firstly, because number one, you'll never have problems looking for parts for this watch. And secondly, because uh, ETA was actually established in 1932 by Eterna to separate their watch making uh, activities from their movement making ones. So all in all, I believe if you're looking for a solid chronograph below 5,000 euros from a brand with a great history, uh, the Eterna 1940 chronograph telemeter is uh, definitely worth looking at. So once again, thank you for joining us in looking at this new little chronograph that we've had the pleasure to share with you. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining us and uh, catch you again next time.